Okay, so I'm gonna do a short video uh, about uh, how to set the laser harp. So you can see here there is a KB2D module, the detection module. So there is a USB cable and it's linked to, to the computer. And uh, there is just a regular laser projector here. I have on beyond just I'm projecting reg regular beams, so 8 beams here. So the interface. If the KB2D is currently connected, the, um, the interface automatically starts like this, indica indicating the firmware, uh, firmware version and all the parameters. I will use Ableton here to play the music. So here I'm just gonna use this sound. Uh, I can I can test first that uh, the laser harp is correctly connected to uh, to Ableton. Here it's um, KB2D interactive. This one is the laser harp. If I if I click on send one note here, I can test that it's correctly connected. So it's sending just a random note. Oh, well, uh, in fact, it's the first note here. It's sending it to to Ableton, and I can I can test that it's correctly connected. So that's the first step. Here I have eight beams, so I will I will select here eight beams. That's the first step, and uh, frames per second. Here I've put like ninety. Uh, in beyond, I'm more than this. I'm something like 100 and, uh, 130 FPS, but that's not like really important. It's uh, if 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 it's 130 FPS and I'm uh, a little bit below here, so like 90, uh, it's it's okay. Now I, I I click on auto set detection, so it just output a message. I click OK. It will like set the background. Okay, so now the background is set. When I when I click OK, I will I will uh, say, I will touch a beam with a with a business card at the height I want to play. So it can be any beam, but I will select like uh, I will touch like the beam uh, in the middle. So you have only a few seconds to touch the beam as it uh, puts a warning. Like if I don't if I don't do anything here, it it will put a warning saying yeah. No, no interaction is detected. Do you want to continue? So I want to continue. Uh, I will touch a beam now. Okay. I stay until yeah until it displays a message. So detection parameters are now set. Good. And now I have to set the angles, the beams. So um, I will click on auto, calib auto calibration here, and I will interact with the first beam and the last beam. So first the first beam. When I click OK, OK, I select the first beam. So that's the same. I have only a few seconds. Good. Once you have the the first note, you select the last beam. Okay. Well, it, it displays that I need more time, but uh, I don't need more time. It's just a just a bug. So now it should be okay. We can see here, like from eight, uh, from one to eight, you have the beam uh, beam angles. You can ad adjust one uh, one beam in particular. For example, uh, if I want to to adjust uh, the second beam, I, I will I will click on learn one angle here. I will put like the index it's two beam number two, and I will touch this beam uh, this beam beam number two. So I will click OK. I will touch beam number two. Okay, calibration done, and uh, I can I can always uh, update uh, update the, the parameters by pushing uh, F5 on, on the computer. Okay, so it was already uh, updated. So yeah, the 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 
the angle of the second beam has been updated, so it's a little, little bit more precise to do each beam one by one, because the first calibration I did, the auto calibration, it sets the first beam and the last beams, and it calculates everything, but I can like set each beam one by one if I want to be very precise. So you can also like change the notes. For so for the moment, uh, I have these notes. So if I want to invert like the left and the right, I will click on invert X notes here, and now the notes are. So it's just like an easy way to invert like the left and the right if you just uh, um, calibrated it in the wrong way. And um, so for the moment, the first note I put like C2 here, so it's this. I can change it to anything else, for instance, uh, I don't know what, uh, F1, and now. So yeah, it's directly changing uh, changing the note here. Yep. And about this, you can uh, you can always like adjust these parameters if you want to be uh, a little bit more precise. For instance, you can reduce the latency. So the latency in, is mainly due to to Ableton. There is uh, an output latency uh, in Ableton for the notes. But uh, if you want to improve the latency on uh, on the detection system, you can always like improve the detection speed. But if you do that, it will be more sensitive to parasitic light. Uh, light. So yeah, uh, you have to be careful by ch by changing these parameters. Uh, also, you can change uh, the number of frames per second. For for the moment, I I'm, I have uh, 90. But uh, I can try to 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 go like close to 130, and if I do this, it will reduce a little bit the latency. So I can go like to 130. So without changing the other parameters, I can check if it works. Yep, it works correctly, and it should be a little bit more more fast. The latency should be a little bit. Uh, lower uh, with uh, 130 frames per second. So that's it.